Without a, a laser, I would refer this procedure to the university. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is mark our palate so we know how much we can take. We use some real easy landmarks. The tip of the epiglottis is one. So in between breaths, we put a dot at the tip of the epiglottis. The next landmark is our tonsils. They run here. If you look at the red diode, it's where the tonsils are, located right here. Now I'm going to make a mark right in between those. So I have a series of dots, about five. That's going to be my landmark for cutting. I'm going to actually make my incision just caudal to those. Those dots will remain when I'm finished. Slow and steady is what you want to do. You don't want to have too much traction, you'll tear. There are blood vessels that run laterally, right and left lateral vessels, and you may hit them, but again, you will still see that your hemostasis is amazing compared to anything you may have tried with a scalpel. Mm -hmm. Right now, just taking my laser slowly across the palate below my dots. It is a tight area, so you just move slowly. There's that lateral vessel. We're going to keep going across it, though. The laser will provide some hemostasis. The laser, I still have my five remaining dots. As you can see, there's a small amount of blood surging when we hit that lateral vessel. But the laser will ca cauterize as well many vessels of certain size, and now there's virtually no bleeding in that mouth. That is the shortened soft palate. The dots I made for landmarks remain, and I, my incision has been directly below. Once the tube is pulled, the soft palate will touch the tip of the epiglottis, and it will be exactly where you want the final product. We've made a difference in this dog, his ability to breathe.